it is um, now April 16, 2019, 12.04 a.m. Uh, I'm so sorry about that last video. It I run out of storage. I do these on a phone, and I run out of storage, and it just shut off. So I'm going to pick up where that one left off instead of starting all over. So we were talking about this time frame. Uh, we had just pointed out about a video about the Lord giving me um, a word. This says a year ago, but that's not exactly accurate. It's been a little more than a year. I, I believe it's closer to two years. But um, where he spoke to me over by a period of May 22nd. Now, I'm just pointing these out to keep them in mind. Is something I'm going to show you on the calendar. And again, I do reiterate that we have to be very careful about speaking about dates because the calendars that we go by do not, may not necessarily reflect the time frame that the Lord is going by, okay? And so we have to be very careful about that. I look at everything in time frame period, okay? The Lord gives us these things as markers. We need to remember that. It says markers so that we can know where we are because the Lord shows those who are seeking. He shows them things that, um, like the scripture says, he shows us beforehand so that when it comes, we will believe. And it's not about us that, that already have that faith, but it's about us speaking it out. So that others, when it comes to pass, who have heard it, they will believe that, that the Lord did have this spoke out. He had it brought forth ahead of time. Okay, so I also want to look here where the Lord, um, I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me turn this just a little. Um, on this video where it is titled 50, or excuse me, 5-5. Five, five, meaning May 5th, Midnight Cry, May Day. And the Lord had me focused on May Day in several videos. Um, we see it again here, Midnight Cry, Great Cry, May Day. I think it's in a few others. So he's had me focused. Here we have May Day, Traditions, uh, Your Feast. So, and then here, I didn't even see this one earlier, where it says, Set apart, May Day, when you think not. So, the Lord does point us toward dates, but it's about giving us markers and time and understandings through the things that we learn about those dates. And I'm, I'm looking at my notes here because I didn't want to overlook anything. Yes, I also had a video. It's been years ago when the Lord first um, brought me to YouTube. Um, and I didn't look that video up, but in this video, the Lord spoke to me. Um, Jesus and his disciples have two weeks. So that points to a time frame uh, for Jesus and his disciples. So as we come over to the calendar, uh, I hope y'all can see that okay. Kind of hard for me to tell what you're seeing on this. Okay. So here we know that April 6th, which was Barbara from God's Healer 7, uh, a date that, that we know that the Lord had given her, began Nisan the 1st. This began a specific period for her in, in her uh, I'm going to say task the Lord had put before her, uh, a time frame that went with that and began a new time frame for her, for what God has for her. So we know that Nisan first is significant in scripture. It is the, the, the new year. Okay. So when we get down here to where Nisan and I spoke about Nissan 
and Passover um, and how it's connected with the first fruits. Okay, so here we see that Passover falls the 19th. And let's try to see what was the next date. 19. Okay, so Nisan began on the 1st. I want to point out when it ends because it goes with another date that the Lord had given me. Bear with me. This thing runs slow. But when we click over to, well, there, to May, and we look at when Nissan ends this year, it ends on May the 5th. And we saw that the Lord had me, uh, I guess, I'm thinking at least two, three years ago, had me focused on the date of May 5th. I don't remember what was in those videos. I've done so many. I can't remember every detail that goes in them. But it stood out to me that May 5th was a date that the Lord had given me. And something else I wanted to point out, and this is all food for thought. Now, obviously, at the beginning of the last video, I felt the Lord had given me confirmation through that video, let's pop back over there, where he showed me Nissan was in this video that I had done, I guess, two years ago, and where it just it first pops into the video, this picture gave us, um, the 536 gave us in the Strongs, uh, first fruits. So, I felt the Lord was pointing us to Nissan, first fruits. I felt that the Lord has been showing me that Passover is very significant. It is the time for the first fruits to um, be taken and the Lord set the harvest in motion. Okay, when we get to May 5th, which we know the Lord has shown me, and we get to down here, on May the 19th, which is Second Passover. And the Lord, He has taught me a lot about Second Passover. I can't remember the exact scriptures where it's located, but it's First or Second Chronicles. Um, it's about the time of Hezekiah. Um, but Second Passover holds a significance all of its own. Because second Passover was celebrated when the the priest I'm trying I'm trying to remember I uh, can't remember everything but it, it's about not being ready for first Passover and so they had a second Passover and I'm sorry that I don't have that scripture looked up let let me pause this and see if I can find it really quick okay I found the scripture. Uh, it is Second Chronicles chapter 29 in verse 34. It says, But the priests were too few, so that they could not flay all the burnt offerings. Wherefore, their brethren, the Levites, did help them till the work was ended, and until the other priests had sanctified themselves. For the Levites were more upright in heart to sanctify themselves than the priests. So, if you start there and you read through Second uh, Chronicles 30, might go a little further than that. But I hope you will read the scripture and see. Um, the thing, one last thing I wanted to point out there, but you can see about the second Passover here, because in Second Chronicles 30, verse 15, it says, then they killed the Passover on the 14th day, the second month. So, there you can see in scripture about second Passover, if you care to go read that. But what I'm trying to point out is these time frames and different dates that the Lord gives us. And how I think a lot of these things are coming together. Because when you look 
at May the 19th where second Passover falls you see that it's exactly see here was May 5th May the 5th which was Nisan 30th the last day of Nisan and second Passover is exactly one two two weeks after um May the 5th, and the Lord kept giving me May Day, 5-5, um, five, five, which is May 5th. Uh, he spoke to me, Jesus and his disciples have two weeks. Here we see a two-week time period. Just what all these things mean and these dates that he's given me, um, what they all mean and point us to, I'm not absolutely sure. But I am sure the Lord is pointing me to Passover. I am sure that he is pointing me to the time of the first fruits. How all this plays out and how the time frames fall, I do not know. But I felt that I needed to share these things, especially, especially since I felt that this, where he showed me Nissan, and then this number 536, where that appears in that old video, points us to the first fruits and that is what I feel he's been showing me I felt that was a confirmation and then as I looked back at other videos and looked at the calendar I could see that there could be connection with many of these things that he's shown me from the past and I just wanted to share it point these dates out um and and just maybe give us a heads up on some um, time frames to look at as um, seeing some significant things happening and taking place. I do believe we're very close to the harvest beginning. I do believe we're very close to the three days of darkness. Um, I have, as I pointed out in one of my other videos, I have made specific playlists for the three days of darkness study. So those that need to to look at it and trying to understand the three days of darkness. It's there, easy to access. Also, also the videos were, um, I did those on the church, the first judge, wise and the foolish. It's very important that we understand these things because there's a lot being said in the wise and foolish video. Uh, excuse me, in the wise and foolish parable. Uh, that most people don't even consider. And when the Lord, when he separates the wise out from the foolish, that is when judgment is falling on the church because there are the foolish, if you remember, the wise and the foolish were looking for the bridegroom, but the foolish did not go because they had not prepared. Okay? Uh, these videos get into everything... The Lord showed me, there's 55 of them, so the Lord showed me many things about preparation, about where the church falls short, about understanding, about judgment beginning there, and, and about it is with the wise and the foolish, and the wise are taken and the foolish are left. Many do not understand that. Um, they need to, to be trying to... Um, Take this knowledge in. Take this, these things in from the Lord because it, it's very important. We are so close to there not being any more time to prepare. But I'm going to cut this off right here. Um, I hope to be bringing some more videos soon. I, I just go by how the Lord leads. And of course, as I mentioned, my household has increased from two to seven. So that kind of uh, keeps me from, you know, having the time that I had before to do studies and videos. So I just um, go at, at whatever the Lord leads me in and when he leads me in it. But I love y'all. Bye-bye.